we have duties unto ourselves to take care of yourself, to look after your health, to look after the amana that Allah has bestowed you with in the form of your body. Give yourself the proper rest at the proper time. Protect yourself from that which is damaging to your health. Remember that if you come across a shisha club, it is haramun haramun haram, no matter what. Remember that if anyone is telling you makru, they don't know what they are talking about. The non-Muslims tell you that you are not allowed to sell a pack of cigarettes without writing on it, smoking kills. And we as Muslimin fall into the trap by saying no ways. They might think it kills, I'm still alive. Allahu Akbar, I'm still alive. And then we say, well, shisha is not that bad. Subhanallah. Last night I was sitting in the city of Bolton and we had a microphone just like this. Which I was holding and I told him this looks like one of the shishas that they actually sip, you know. And the worst thing is to find a woman in niqab, through the niqab, using it as a filter, filtering the shisha. Allahu Akbar. Have you ever seen that? Well, I haven't either. It's just an imagination. <laughs> so, my brothers and sisters, we need to be worried. They say one hour of shisha. Go and check it out. One hour of shisha is worse than four of cigarettes. Did you know that? One hour of shisha is worse than 40 packs of cigarettes. And we still think that it's not my duty to look after my body. A'udhu Billah. Dear youth, it's your duty. You will be asked about the amana that is your body given to you by Allah. You know, to kill yourself in small doses is like a man slicing every, an organ of a body every day. And 30, 40 days later or a year later, he sliced his whole body. Nobody would do that. Because if you were to take a needle and poke yourself every day in different places, it would hurt. Why then do we not realize it's my duty to give up smoking? I obviously do know that from amongst us, there are brothers, perhaps maybe even sisters. Allah says, God us all who may have this bad habit, but that must not stop us from telling the truth. And it does not make us dislike you, but dislike your habit. Allah. Remember that. We want you to give it up so that you understand your duty unto yourself. As a youth, as a young person, you owe yourself something. What is it? This is a very damaging environment where it is made looked at as something very normal. It's a cool thing to go out and sit and have a, you know, a little social night out smoking these little bagpipe looking items. And thereafter you have big cigars and everyone wants to puff it out and they expertise now, they puff it out of their ears somehow. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, things are happening in winter that we don't even know where this smoke is coming out from. Allah bless us, grant us ease, your duty to know. Don't let the environment suck you in because that you need to protect your body. Allah will ask you, what did you do?